we'd like to design a tank to take some roof water from the roof and into an underground storage tank here and there might well be an underground space for installation of the pumping equipment that will pump this is going to be a, a, a reel of water reel a pool through here and uh, down in this zone here uh, another sort of white noise wall combining with the water feature so what we want to do is to indicate that this tank will be buried below the ground level to do that select the tank what we do is change the line type so under here let's expand our properties box for the moment under line type it's currently by layer and so we have a continuous line but it's possible to put a dashed line there so I've now changed the properties of that box I'll unselect all to if I now select it you can see it's changed to a line type called dashed the line type scale is set at 10 and for it to show as a dashed line I might have to increase that and you can see even in, in its ghosted form that that's a little too high so I'll swing back to a line type of 50 maybe even that's too high 25 and we'll see how that looks and we'll unselect all so there's a dashed line now indicating um, that that tank will be stored will be placed and inserted under the ground surface you'll notice that I had one line type loaded there if I wanted more line types I could go format line types and click new we're going to load a line type and we can browse to the line type file now I've got one in this folder called ACAD ISO yours might be ACAD if you're working in the Imperial area and we can just open it and you'll notice now we have a huge selection of line types available to us so we could change that to a you know a dash dot pattern if we so desire so we'll go OK and OK again so we now have a dash dot pattern uh, loaded just for interest and you will change the line type of this one to dash dot two and we'll unselect all to check it you can see when I zoom right in it becomes a dash dot pattern if you think that pattern line type pattern is too um, too close you might want to expand it so I'll take off snap at the moment that made it a little difficult to select the rectangle and we'll change this to 25 to match the other line type scale so we now have a dash dot pattern there and a dashed pattern there traditionally any lines that are hidden are done as a dashed pattern like the circle so that's how you handle different types of line types within the one drawing and in this case within the one layer